Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you a really small and simple script uh, which deals with room tags. So in case that uh, you did change uh, inside the building room geometry in a way that you divide uh, some rooms, create new ones or maybe move some walls, then probably your layout will look like this. So in some rooms you will have multiple room uh, tags for, for one room. In some other rooms you will not have room tags, uh, some room tags will be maybe outside of the building. So in order to, to resolve all those issues, you will need to, uh, usually what I do, uh, I delete all the existing room tags and then uh, reset that uh, room geometry center and then create new room tags. So when you have like maybe one, two or five uh, sheets uh, and you need to do it once, that that is okay, you can do it manually, but when you have 30 layouts, and you will receive a couple of time uh, those comments, that task becomes very boring and very time consuming. So in order to quickly resolve that issue, it is good thing to have a script like this. Script is very, very simple and I will not show you how to build this script step by step. Instead of that, I will show you this entire script and I'm sure that uh, you can build this script uh, from this video. So in general we have like four different uh, blocks first block will deal with uh, user input then we will collect that uh, user input and we will delete all existing tags then we will set up some sequence i will talk about uh, this later and then we will create new tags and of course we will reset the room location so let's let's go step by step first of all we need to call all views that we have in the project and from that block we we need to list all elements and here uh, we want to make some logical uh, filter in our list we have views which does not have a name so we will convert uh, this list of views to string we will check if uh, in that list we have a name if we have uh, our output from this block will be true. If we don't have a name, it will be false. So from that point, we will uh, list just uh, the views which have a name and that we will lead to our input block. Also, because I did want to try to somehow clean this name of the view, I did split a couple of time and do the replace, string replace to jump from this name of the view to this name of the view. And of course we will use data shapes user interface. Uh, we will ask a user to select the view. Then we will pass that to the multiple input form. And from that point we will know in which view we need to delete and create new room tags. So because we know uh, in which view we need to run our script, we will say, okay, for that view, you need first of all to, to took all the room tags and to delete all those existing room tags. And here is the catch. If we don't have this block in a moment when we delete tags and create new, again, this, this code will run and it will delete existing and the new uh, room tags. So our layout in any case will be blank. Uh, in order to, to avoid that, after this element delete, we will place a transaction end, which is like uh, you are forcing Dynamo to finish with this script and then to, to start with this script. When we uh, finish with the sequence, now we are basically doing a similar thing. Uh, again, we have a view in which we want to create new tags. User give us information about that. And uh, we know that we first of all need to uh, reset location of the rooms. And then we will call uh, a node to create new annotation tag. Uh, for that, we need to provide locations, type of the room tag. And uh, if we want to execute that command, uh, I said true and it will create new room tags. So let's see how, how this script works in, in the practice. I will say run and it will give me a list of, of views. I want to fix my room tags in this view and I will go set values. Now the script is finished and uh, 
you remember that we have multiple room tiling in this area and also for this room 8 our center location was somewhere here so the dynamo correct everything uh, delete existing room tags determine new location of the room center and place new tags also if we if, if we have blank layout like this one we can run our script and select this view uh, you will see that uh, the lead tag will report a, a warning and that is because we didn't have any any room tags on that view and uh, when the script is complete you will see that dynamo successfully placed new room tags here and that's it thanks for watching bye